Wahoo means Japanese style. And I'm making this one with mushrooms, lots of them. These are enoki. They're like the pasta of the mushroom world. They're like noodles. You just need to cut off the ends and break them up into little bundles and they'll be awesome in this pasta. My next kind of mushroom is shimeji. And they are so nutty, especially when I cook them in butter like I'm gonna do today. And last but definitely not least, shiitake mushroom. Now these guys are special to my heart. I used to go picking these with my grandfather. These are famous in the village where my mom grew up. I'm just gonna cook up these mushrooms in some butter. It's gonna bring out all that nutty, rich goodness. And it just needs a couple of minutes browning in that butter and you'll know when this is ready for the next step because it's gonna smell like heaven. For a Japanese sauce, I'm starting with dashi or fish stock. Then I'm flavoring it up with a little bit of soy sauce and a little bit of mirin, sweet cooking wine. Just sweeten up those mushrooms a little bit. And the final step for this sauce is to thicken it. And in Japan, we use potato starch for this. I'm just gonna add a little bit of water to dilute it. Mix that up. And pour it into the sauce while it's bubbling. That's how you know your sauce is hot enough to thicken up when the potato starch hits it. And check out how thick this sauce became. This looks gorgeous. This is just why I use that potato starch. And my pasta's ready now too, so it's time to put these guys together. Ready to go. Okay, sauce. Oh, check that out. All those deep flavors from the mushrooms. I can't wait. I've got shichimi, seven spice. The Japanese don't really do spicy, so when we do, we borrow it from other countries, and this one we borrowed from China. Then, classically Japanese, some chopped seaweed. And for a pop of color, a little bit of green onion. Mm -mm -mm. I am ready to dig in. I just wanna make sure I am getting all that mushroomy goodness and some of the sauce too. And it's just a garnish, but that nori really makes it a little bit Japanese. Three different kinds of mushrooms in one dish really makes a difference. All these different umami rich flavors, it really brings luxury to this really simple dish. <laughs>